Hello, welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we are going to be making some good old sopped up stuffed cheese and meatballs, honey, with a red wine marinara sauce. Ooh, child, look at that old sopped up. And it's easy. All right, so today we're going to start with just using some good old light bread, child. But actually, this is kind of some luge bread because it's some potato bread that I had in my uh, pantry. And I didn't know what's up in there. I was like, oh, somebody brought this over. We had a little get together, some little fish fry. So I'm using some potato bread. You can use good old light bread, white bread, honey. And what you want to do is just kind of break it apart with your hand. Just like that so two slices of bread put it in a bowl break it apart just like that and we're going to add some good old whole milk to it this is what are going to make the meatballs nice and tender and it's also going to create good moisture in the meatballs y'all and the meatballs are going to melt in your mouth and that's what you want it don't look so good right now but honey it's going to be good to say it's going to be sopped up in the meatballs you cannot skip this step guys we got to do this so just press it down in the milk just like i'm doing and you want to sit it to the side for about two or three minutes so that the milk can kind of soak into the bread that's what we want okay now we're going to move right along to this old beef honey this old meat chat now i am using ground beef and italian sausage because that's what i like in my meatballs some people use ground sirloin or ground chuck or whatever you want to use baby it's your prerogative baby like bobby brown's your prerogative use whatever you want to baby but to this meat you know we got to do what season it okay so i'm adding my italian seasoning i'm adding some garlic powder child to this meat honey get nice stop to it honey because you don't want to taste like a what hot cup of water uh people gonna talk about you in the group chat and today i'm gonna be working with my favorite salt i love it so much thank you susie girl over at um beautifulbrinyc.com honey i'm gonna be working with the unicorn salt today baby this salt is so good it got like some smoky paprika and some kosher salt in there some good old seasonings that just go real real well with this particular recipe go on over to beautifulbrinyc.com honey and check them out all all everything you need to be in the description box below okay so i'm gonna add a little bit of that salt to that old meat mixture and now we're going to add our cheese blend so i'm using a mixture of mozzarella provolone romano cheese and italian cheese I guess it's Italian, yeah, Italian cheese. It was just in the pack. That's what I'm using, the Italian cheese blend, okay? We using that. That's at the grocery store, right by the cheese. Add your cheese to that, honey, and we ain't done adding no more cheese. We're going to add a little bit more at the end, but just add your cheese to that, and then I'm going to add my one egg. As you know, all the ingredients will be in the description box. We're going to add our egg, and then we're going to add that good old... Uh, bread mixture that we had soaking to the side we're gonna add all that to the meatball mixture and what i'm doing i'm using one hand and just tossing it together lightly about 20 to 25 times you don't want to mix over mix it guys because your your uh, meatballs will be tough as joe's toenails baby ain't nobody got time honey be acting they're gonna be chewing like they're chewing on cheetos or something honey uh -uh, you want it to melt in their mouth honey okay so don't over mix it just mix it about 20 to 25 times just to get it nice and combined even not even that long really just get it nice and combined with a really light hand so I've got my leftover cheese here that we got and I'm going to just take a little bit of the meat now you can create them as big as you want to as small as you want to honey it is your thing these are your meatballs baby you can do whatever you want to so I'm creating mine a little big no well like medium size I would say and I'm going to form it into a ball but I'm going to stuff it with what <laughs> more cheese so I stuff it with more cheese create a little pocket and then I stuffed it with cheese and then I'm going to form it into balls and as you can see my girlfriend Holly just uh you know she showed me this technique if you uh rock the meat back and forth in your hands and form the ball it makes it really really light and you're not handling the meat too much so as you can see i was rocking my hand back and forth and i folded it and i formed into these really really good sized meatballs okay so now i'm just gonna put them into my cast iron skillet honey because i like the good crust that it kind of give on the bottom i'm going to put in my cast iron skillet and then i'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil whatever you got baby you can put some butter on top of these things you want to and that's just going to help the meatballs get nice and brown on top and that's what we want i'm going to place them into a 375 five degree oven for about 20 minutes and they are going to be really good when they come out in the meantime while we are cooking our meatballs honey let's do two things at one time let's go ahead and make our good old sauce i'm starting with a whole stick of butter that's what i said a whole stick because baby i'm your cook not your doctor honey you go ahead and get my weight loss book honey you know how to eat all this food honey and still be have a soft up body okay so we're gonna swirl that butter all the way around the crease in the crevice of that good old cast iron skillet honey let it get nice and toasty that's what i want just get nice and melty rather i'm gonna use um some frozen onion 
today because baby that's why they make them put them in the freezer section for convenience don't let nobody talk you out of this honey if you got some frozen onion put that frozen onion in there if you feel like dicing the onion honey go ahead and do that child too but i didn't feel like that so i had some frozen onion and i add a little bit of bell pepper to my sauce because baby that's how my mama make growing up honey it was good to say it stopped up so i add a little bit of bell pepper up in there if you don't like bell pepper you don't have to add that but if you want to add like some mushrooms or something you could do that too that'll be good in here if you like mushrooms child okay so i'm just gonna get it nice and toasty and i'm cooking over medium heat right now guys i'm not over high heat because i don't want anything to burn but i do want my veggies my onions and my bell pepper to get nice and translucent and soft so over medium heat okay now we are going to add our tomato paste okay now i'm using the tomato paste in the tube because child you know when you use that one in that can you have to throw the whole can away if you uh don't use it all okay so i'm using the one in the tube just in case i don't use it all i could just <laughs> recycle put it back in the refrigerator okay so if you can find the one in the tube use that and what i like to do is i let it get nice and toasty um this is what we call blooming our tomato paste okay so i'm just swirling it around you want to cook your tomato paste for about 40 to 40 seconds to one minute okay this is what I'm gonna, this is what's going to get the nice bite out of that tomato paste um that little tanginess that kind of make you pop your mouth honey okay like that okay you want to cook it out okay so cook it for about one minute and then we're going to add our dry seasonings <laughs> we got to season it baby you know why we got to do that make it stop to it i'm going to add my seasonings to the tomato paste mixture because dry seasonings when you add them to like any type of oil or fat like butter or anything like that it kind of opens them up and it toasts them and blooms them and they just taste so much better they're way more potent um when you do it this way okay so you want to taste them now we're going to add our red wine honey make this sauce all drunk <laughs> <laughs> child stop to it that's what we want we add a little bit of red wine or a lot of red wine honey it depends on what day you had honey what kind of day you had add however much wine you want to but right now i'm gonna add about a cup and a half and i'm gonna add my good old crushed tomatoes to that just using canned tomatoes baby ain't nobody got time to be picking tomatoes off a tree child and just crush them with your hand baby we ain't over there in italy nowhere but we ain't doing that okay we in america we gotta get some canned tomatoes they just as good if you ask me and we're gonna swirl that around with my wooden spoon for some reason when i'm cooking like a tomato sauce i gotta use a wooden spoon or something i don't know but i'm gonna add and also my beef bouillon honey that's what's gonna make our neck snap and everything gonna be good okay get it all nice and seasoned gotta add a little beef bouillon if you want to and then i'm gonna add just a little bit of water you can add beef stock but i like the beef bouillon and then add a little water because it's just more concentrated it gives it way 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 more flavor than beef stock to me okay but if you want to use beef stock that's totally fine so i added my water i don't know where that clip went but i did add it check the description about oh there it is there it is right there i added my water and now i'm going to add in my brown sugar i want some of your brown sugar <laughs> yeah baby go put that brown sugar up in there to get that nice bite out of there we don't want the tomato sauce to be all nice tangy baby we don't want it to taste like lemonade we want it to taste like good old nice rich tomato sauce we got add a little sugar in there to get that bite out then as you can see i added more of my unicorn sauce from beautifulbrinyseed.com put that in there i'm gonna let this cook for about 25 minutes uncovered uncovered it's gonna reduce down on medium heat it's gonna get nice and thick and rich just like that babe don't you see that baby but that's thicker than a snicker and that's how i like my tomato sauce i want it rich i don't like it running honey i don't want to be you know uh flojo running for their life uh -uh, i don't need that i like a thick tomato sauce so we let it cook uncovered for 25 minutes and it gets nice and reduced and now we're going to add our good old cheesy meatballs as you can see don't y'all see that them che that cheese coming out on the side of that meatball baby our meatballs are done we're going to add it to the sauce just like this so make sure you get that sauce covered on over there honey i want my sauce to be wrapped up like baby jesus swallowing clothes baby in a manger honey i want to be wrapped up and snugged up on top of that meatball that, like that right there okay so make sure you put that sauce on top of the honey and just let it kind of just warm through and if you want to look fancy honey like i do honey just for instagram and play it up real cute just get you some good old dollar parsley like like i got and just wash it real good make sure you wash it you won't get nobody sick when it's because parsley be dirty okay wash it and dry it with a paper towel just chop it on up if you got time but if you don't it's okay it's still gonna be good don't worry so now i just got my cooked spaghetti cook the spaghetti honey according to the uh the pasta box instruction ain't nothing fancy put in some water with a little salt cook it for eight to twelve minutes there you go now we're going to do what i like to do this is a secret that i do uh for my spaghetti and people be like oh my god how you get spaghetti all throughout the noodles honey you got to put your little sauce on there and just toss it together first, okay? So put like a little bit of sauce on your pasta and toss it together, just like I'm doing. This is a good secret, honey, make sure that sauce gets increased in crisp. Now we're taking our meatball, okay, and we're going to put our meatball on top, okay? But then we ain't done. Guess what we going to do, y'all? You already know what we're going to do. 
That's what we do. <laughs> Gonna add some more sauce on there, cause baby, I like it saucy, okay? I like it saucy. And that's how you gonna make good and soft food. Wanna be fancy? Add you a little bit of grated Parmesan on there like I'm doing. Okay, get you a little fresh Parmesan on there. If you wanna use soap out, grated already, pre- uh, pre-grated, you can use that too. Ain't nobody judging you. Then we're gonna take our nice, pretty old food grass, our parsley, and then we're just gonna put that right on top of the meatballs and the sauce and our spaghetti. And honey, look at that. That is so good, baby. You finna dive in, get a twirl up in there like that right there. Twirl on around, baby. <laughs> twirl for your life, child. And boom, we is done. Talk to you guys later. Be sure to check the description box for all details below. And don't forget that I still have all of my cookbooks on sale for 50% off. See you guys later. Bye.